Hi, I'm Paul W. Dunning, retired mess sergeant in the Air Force, and now I'm working at Transit Alert. I got out of high school in 68, me and my best friend were ready to go party, and went to check the mailbox, and there's a draft notice in there. So I was like, well, here we go. I had like 30 days to make a decision, and I was going to join the Marines, but when I'm down in the recruiter's office, this Air Force guy is going, psst, come here. So I went over and he said, oh, you don't want to do that. So I joined the Air Force. When I first saw the first, what was it, what was that, 102. And it just amazed me that I'm going to get to work on these, you know, and it, it's it got more of a mature, and it's, I just loved, I just loved it. Maintaining airplanes, I, loved, I could, I'd do it for free. <laughs> I extended to go to Thailand during Vietnam to just prove myself, I guess, just because that's the way it was, you know. And then I got out for nine and a half years. I was a machinist for nine years in Pittsburgh, steel mills, and they shut down. I went back in the Air Force in 82 and retired in 2002. During Vietnam, we linebacker two, we just bombed and bombed and bombed. They finally stopped. And we flew just constant, just constant flying jets. And then uh, Granada, which that went pretty fast. We flew a couple of A-10s in there and then went to Barbados. And then the Gulf War, well, like I said, we sat around for like nine months. And then we were at KKMC, I volunteered to get closer to the fight. And we were doing integrated combat turns, they're quick turns, you load the plane pulls in, fuel them, load them with bombs, get them out of there. Well, we pulled one plane in, I was on the headset, it was a commander, and I heard on the, air, on the headset that this guy was shot up pretty bad, and he said he's gonna make it, they told him, to eject, and they told him three times to eject, and he, just, he didn't do it. So we looked over, and here he comes, and he was coming in good, and we we're watching him, and as soon as he got in the other room, he just flipped, and it, he, he didn't make it. And this stalled, everything just started going off, the bullets started going off, and everybody left, and I had to get the pilot, told me, get, get me out of here. So I had to redo all the bombs and get him, got him out of there, and then marshaled the fire trucks in there. It was, uh, you remember that. It's part of the career. Like we had planes come in on fire, uh, no landing gear, and as long as the pilot makes it, that's the main thing. Time's a thief. And next thing you know, 20 years, was, and you're on, hey, thanks a lot, see ya. And it's a good career. Plus you're young, you get another job. Well, like me. <laughs> and so I'll probably stay for another year, and then I'll finally retire, maybe. <laughs>